Japanese researchers could be on the brink of discovering a way to diagnose malaria. Each year, millions catch it, making it the most common infectious disease in the world. One of the biggest problems in treating malaria is that there is no easy and effective way to diagnose people. But a team in southwest Japan may have found a method. Malaria is caused by a parasite that's transmitted by mosquitoes. When the parasite enters red blood cells, it causes symptoms like high fever, muscle pain and fatigue. Sometimes there are convulsions, breathing difficulties and brain malfunction. Doctors usually diagnose malaria by examining blood cells with a microscope. Even an experienced doctor might need 40 minutes to find an infected red blood cell. Japan's National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology is developing a new way of detecting malaria. Masatoshi Kataoka heads this research team at the Institute. They're using biotechnology and nanotechnology to make it possible to find infected cells in just five minutes. The test is easy to perform and costs just one dollar. The current technique takes time. Many people become infected with malaria every day, so we must be able to diagnose each person quickly and more accurately. Kataoka's team developed a slide with tiny holes. A machine can find infected cells when researchers pour red blood cells onto the slide. This lets doctors carry out blood tests in just five minutes instead of 40. This image shows what doctors see when they use the old diagnostic method. There are several layers of red blood cells. It's hard to find infected cells. Kataoka and his team want to be able to isolate a single layer to simplify the process. This is how they do that. One member of the team pours red blood cells onto the slide. They use a solution to wash away the piled up cells. The holes in the slide are shaped so that only one layer of cells is left. They've been dyed to reflect a certain wavelength of light. That makes it easier to see which ones are infected. The team tried using various sizes, depths and shapes for the hole. They spent almost a year coming up with the right design. The most difficult part was lining up more than two million red blood cells in a single layer and getting accurate results every time without any inconsistencies. 90% of malaria victims are from sub-Saharan Africa. The low cost and simplicity of the technology impressed doctors in Uganda last year when Kataoka's team tried it out there. The team is working on ways to improve the procedure by making the detection machine smaller and cheaper. Our goal is to make a machine the size of a laptop computer. If it's mobile, it can be battery-powered and operated in places with no electricity. That would be extremely useful in Africa and other parts of the world. The team thinks they'll be able to finish work on the machine within two years. Kataoka says he'll be happy if Japan can do its bit in the global fight against malaria.